Hello everybody, welcome to another movie review. This time we are reviewing Victory, which was released in 1981. I viewed this movie four different times, gave this movie a rating of an 8. Let's take a look at the poster real quick. It says a Freddie Fields production, a John Huston film, Silver Stallone, Michael Caine, Max von Sydow, and Pele. Victory. Now is the time for Heroes really awesome awesome um poster i have to say because you have michael king Pele, and sylvester stallone in like a illustration type and if you kind of look at it f a little bit afar you can see like the their two fists up in the air kind of make a v for victory so i just think it's a really cool concept and i think the poster is super cool um because it just it just shows how powerful uh, how powerful the characters were in the film. Alright, so Victory. It's a slow-moving soccer flick that is almost an imposter of the great escape. Sylvester Stallone, while not always superb, isn't that bad, and the potential of trademark Stallone moments has not been fully realized yet in time <laughs> for the film. I am disgusted by the sight of the escape committee every time that I am forced to look at the shots of the men. Jerry Fisher's cinematography, especially during the soccer game, is great, but to my disappointment the game looks limited and not exciting enough. How can it be possible to include Bella in the film but to limit his screen time, especially during the soccer game? That's quite hard to believe. Obviously Bella has the best scene of the film, the bicycle kick. And this special move would compel Major Carl von Steiner to stand up and cheer. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that he will be executed for it. Pretty sad. All in all, Victory feels restrained in many ways, but it's an entertaining soccer movie regardless. Next review of 2013. Stallone and Bella take on the Nazis for a game of soccer and victory. That's one half of it, and the other half is the great escape plan. Victory has a great style of cinematography that is often underutilized in many films, in other films. John Huston opts for indirect screenshots, which means that I don't always see the actors doing things in a straightforward way, but on the oblique side. Probably the most disappointing part of the movie is Pele's limited screen time. Everybody, especially Sylvester Stallone and Michael Caine, is natural in playing the characters. All in all, Victory is an enjoyable soccer picture to watch, no matter what time of the day it is, and it's hard to think of a better one in this particular genre. 2016. I finally upped my rating of Victory to an 8. Victory is still the best soccer movie I've seen, and time has been kind to it. I've noticed now that Michael Caine is never seen playing the game, so I guess he was too fat and out of shape to move the ball. I don't know. Just guessing. As a matter of fact, Osvaldo Ardiles said of him, awful, and he couldn't even run 20 yards. Pobrecito. Taken from IBM, IDMB. Sylvester Stallone broke one of his fingers trying to stop Bella from scoring a goal. Wow. An interesting link between Kane and Stallone is that the former was the original Jack Carter, while the latter appealed as him in the remake of Get Carter. And there's no debate as to who made out better. All in all, John Huston scores a winner in victory, an entertaining World War II soccer picture that simply defies logic so like I said if you want uh, something a little special a special treat especially if you're interested in soccer go ahead and take a look at victory you won't be disappointed see you next time make sure you check out my other movie reviews and please